This video is a training slash demonstration video for Mojave Engineering Associates Incorporated in Kingman, Arizona. The primary intended audience is Mojave Engineering project managers, however other team members will also benefit from the information contained in this demonstration. First, let's review the goals and requirements for Mojave Engineering project managers. Any project manager takes charge of a project by breaking the project down into discrete actions, assigning those actions out to the most appropriate individuals and entities based on their skill sets, workloads, priorities, and schedules, and finally ensures that those tasks are completed correctly, on schedule, and on budget. The process described in this demonstration illustrates how project managers can address the correctness and timeliness aspects of their job functions using a specialized web-based application called KM Executive, or KMX for short. Our viewers are already familiar with utilizing the KMX dashboard to quickly identify upcoming task deadlines and important activity, so I will explore an additional feature of KMX known as Assignment Management. Assignment management is the process by which PMs identify and address tasks that they themselves need to complete, those which need to be broken down into more discrete actions and delegated, and those which have already been delegated but require oversight or follow-up. All assignment management takes place within the Assignments Summary View, which I can view by selecting Assignments from the Activities menu. The Assignments Summary View displays my responsibilities in two distinct tables. The first Primary Assignments table lists only those of my tasks which are incomplete and have no incomplete child tasks, i.e. those which directly require my efforts. The second Delegated Assignments table displays only those tasks which are assigned to contacts other than myself, are incomplete, have no incomplete children tasks, and re are required in order for me to complete one or more of my tasks, i.e. those tasks which I am ultimately responsible for completing, but have delegated as subtasks and will not directly execute. As a PM, I go through the following process each day to ensure that every project that I am in charge of receives attention and no projects fall by the wayside. First, I review my primary assignments one by one to identify any tasks which I must break down and delegate. It looks like I need to break down and delegate this job. I check out the details of this task by clicking the small paper icon next to the task name. When the details load, I can see that there is not yet any activity on this task and that it does in fact need to be broken down into more discrete actions. I click the paper and pencil icon to open a multiple task edit view so that I can delegate this task out without leaving my current view. I create a task for each step required to complete this particular parent task, setting my core task as the parent of all of the others. When I save the tasks, my view refreshes and I can see that the original task has dropped off of my primary assignments list. This is because it is no longer an action item for me. I can't do anything with it until its delegated tasks are completed. Notice, however, that each of the tasks that I delegated now appear in my delegated assignments area since they will require my follow-up. Next, I review each item in my delegated assignments section. I check the last date of review first to make sure that the tasks I haven't looked at recently catch my eye and don't get overlooked. For example, I see that the Get John's Approval task that I assigned to Frona hasn't been reviewed but had activity yesterday. I click the paper to see more details and notice that Frona has submitted a comment letting me know that she left him another message but has not heard back yet. I will go ahead and let her know that I would like her to make another follow-up call today. Next, I mark this task as reviewed. I move on checking each task, taking any necessary action, and marking them as reviewed. If I see a task that I need to expedite, I elevate the priority by filling in a new priority value and clicking the Save icon.
If I need to adjust a date, I click on the currently displayed date and change the value. As I'm prioritizing, I might find it useful to know how much a particular contact already has on their plate and either adjust their priority based on that information or assign a task to another contact. To check a contact's workload, I can click the little chart next to the contact's name and get a quick view of one, how many hours of work are currently assigned to the contact that they can work on as a primary assignment, and two, how many hours the contact has been assigned that they are waiting to complete until a child task is completed by another contact. If I would like more introspective on all the assignments that this contact is dealing with, I can view the assignments view from their perspective by right-clicking their contact name and opening the link in a new window. This allows me a full detail of their current workload. Once I believe that I'm finished following up and prioritizing my delegated assignments, I can verify that this is the case by noting that there are no checkboxes left in the last reviewed column. Now that I've set all of my delegated assignments in motion, it's time to review my primary assignments. Sorting by last activity, I can quickly see which tasks have been neglected and ensure that I put forth the effort on those tasks to keep them moving along or at least review their current status and mark them as reviewed. Because the last activity dates are color-coded, it's very easy to see which tasks haven't had any activity recently. Now I can begin working on completing these tasks according to the priorities and due dates. As I complete my primary assignments and contacts complete my delegated tasks, my list may begin to show additional primary assignments. For example, assume that Frona has now completed her task 8952. After task 8952 is completed, my primary assignments view shows an extra task, 8951. This happens because 8951 was assigned to me to complete, but was waiting on Frona to complete her task, 8952. During the time that it was waiting, it was not an action item. However, now that Frona has completed her task, mine has become an action item. This is one reason that it is important to mark tasks as reviewed when they have been reviewed. Newly populated primary and delegated assignments will be much more apparent since they will not have been reviewed yet. For example, in this case, I can clearly see that 8951 is new to my list today because it bears a checkbox in the reviewed column. This concludes the prioritization and delegation demonstration. For more information, see the KMX reference manual or related instructional document on Mojave Engineering's KMX Document Center.